Well, as the running back coach at Michigan, Fred Jackson worked under Gary Moeller, Lloyd Carr, Rich Rodriguez, and Brady Hoke. So when Jim Harbaugh took over and didn't bring Jackson back, it left Jackson with a void that could only be filled with coaching. Today, he announced that's what he will do at high school. Casey Hollins has more. Once they see that you're winning football and you're doing it the right way, then you do, more people want to be a part of it. That's what Fred Jackson hopes he can do for Ypsilanti High School's football program. One season removed from coaching at Michigan, Jackson says his son Josh was a big part of his decision to come here. I would go to his practices in the summer and August. I said, what am I doing on the sideline when I should be out there coaching and, and teaching? Jackson said people asked him why a former college coach would want to make the transition to high school football. He says when you love the game as much as he does, it's just impossible to stay away. And I wasn't ready to get rid of, you know, just stop. When I wasn't retained uh, with Harbaugh staff, I wanted to coach again that next week. In addition to Jackson's experience, the Grizzlies will get an added boost from former Michigan coaches Lloyd Carr and Ron English, who will act as consultants. Fred will have some young coaches on his staff, and I can mentor some of those guys. Anytime a big name in the game finds a home with a high school program, well, Carr says it best. I think it's going to be a fun thing to watch. At Ypsilanti High School, Casey Hollins, 7 Action Sports. Very, very, very cool for those kids. Casey, thanks. Only an hour and 15 minutes left to vote for our Leo's Coney Island High School Game of the Week. Dakota and Eisenhower had the lead earlier tonight, but look out, Chelsea and Trenton storming back. They are in the lead, but go to WXYZ.com to vote and bring us to your game Friday night.